deep in a forest in Kittitas County. Crews are feeding a machine that has a never ending appetite. Replicating work that Mother Nature isn't doing anymore. Historically, when you had fires on this landscape more frequently, it would manage the level of vegetation and the forest density. This is just a portion of the millions of acres of forest land in Washington state that the Department of Natural Resources says is overgrown and could pose a real danger should it ignite. We want a diverse landscape and you can see what we don't want it to look like as a tree farm. A process that's taking place on the small scale too. Take homeowner Patty O'Hearn. I recognize that fire wising is important if I want to manage to save my property. She's one of the homeowners taking advantage of the small landowner assistance program through DNR. Funding she's used to clear brush, take down overgrown trees, and create a buffer between her property and the nature she loves. Homeowners can only do so much when it comes to thinning the forest, so they brought in the big guns. This machine teamed up with a crew of three can cover about an acre and a half a day. 15 minutes up a winding road and you'll find a forest restoration company working away on public land. From our drone, you can see the work that's been done. It's land the Washington Nature Conservation, a nonprofit works to protect. And while it may look counterintuitive, each tree that comes down clears the way for a healthier forest. By making the whole landscape more resilient and creating these opportunities for us to keep big fires smaller, we're helping everybody. A mission to keep our forests healthy, even if fire does strike. In Kittitas County, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.